Hello and welcome to another episode by Toro Family Academy. My name is Paula and today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to not overpack when you travel with your toddler. So first things first, Toro Family Academy, what is it? This is our baby. We created this academy to help other parents not to go through the same struggles that we did when we started traveling with our little ones. Uh, the goal with this is we knew almost nothing about the traveling, flying world with our kids, with any kids really. And uh, we just didn't know how much information there is and we didn't realize how much is not shared with the world you know like how much so much information that we don't, didn't even know before we started traveling so we thought let's put these all together and help other parents out there but let's talk about how to not overpack when you fly with your kid first things first is there a laundry service where you're going is there a the hotel that you're going do they provide that or the airbnb you're staying at do they have a laundry machine this is very important to check if you're flying with your little one because honestly, these can be life saving. It avoids you while over, not overpacking. And also, even if you do overpack and you are, you know, running out of clothes because your toddler is a messy one, I had one of those, um, then you have that available there and you know what it is. Another thing you can do as well, even if you, you know, your Airbnb doesn't have it or your hotel, you can check the laundry uh, places around where you're staying because that will honestly, it will be life-saving. It will honestly save your life. Um, at least it saved mine many times. I have to have, I've had to do a lot of times uh, laundry um, while traveling because my toddler is a messy one. So I, ha I kind of had to, like, otherwise I would just be packing like so many, like double the, 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 the amount of clothes that I didn't need. Well, I would need it, but then I would just be over packing and over carrying things just because I know how he is. So when I, you know, figured this one out, I, I was like, oh wait, this is a lot easier and it, it's a lot lighter, definitely. Um, so yeah, so make sure you check out the any laundry services near you to avoid overpacking. Then the next thing you want to do is plan the outfits. So like if you're going for, you know, seven days, you can do like an outfit a day because, you know, for a toddler size, they would, that would be perfectly fine. So you can do one outfit a day and then you can have just one emergency. And then again, like if you need to wash it, you will have laundry service near you that you need if you need any extras. If you go more than seven days, we definitely recommend just taking seven outfits. Don't take more than that because you can wash it at the laundry and then it's just you're just taking extra and then you, you will actually be able to mix and match some things because they don't get everything dirty like we imagine like some days it will be good and clean and it will be fine um but some days obviously it will be a bit bomb a bit more messy but please make sure you don't take more than you know seven outfits or at least 10 outfits but that's pretty much it you don't need more than that just wash it and or buy new ones really as well. Like another thing that you can do wherever you are going is find a place where you can buy any new clothes that at least you can bring back something new, a souvenir, and you have the space for it instead of bringing everything there and then having to leave stuff because you want to bring some stuff. I've had to do that. But luckily I only just went to my to my parents' hometown and when on the way back I just left loads of clothes off and uh, my toddler that he didn't Actually, it didn't fit anymore by the time we came back. So I just left it there and I got to bring new clothes. So yes, yeah, so, you know, this is things to consider, you know, like, will I bring anything? Can I buy things there? Can I wash things there? All of this is like a good way of planning on how to, you know, not overpack. The third thing you want to do is when you're packing the clothes, of course, uh, and for your toddler, even for yourself, make sure you are rolling the clothes, roll everything to save space. If you have the packing cubes, we also recommend you rolling and putting them inside the packing cubes. The reason for the packing cubes is it makes them even tighter in there, but also you can pack things to like individual cubes. So you can have your own cube, your husband's cube and your toddler's cube, for instance. And this makes it so much easier when you arrive there because you're just like, emptying a cube inside of the drawers and if you are, if you unpack when you get there, of course. Uh, I'm the person that doesn't unpack. I just leave everything in the suitcase until I get upset. But if you are a person, even if you're not a person that likes, doesn't like 
unpacking or if you do like unpacking it's good to have the packing cubes because it divides things into like the sections I suppose and you have your toddler's clothes you know where they are which cube they are and you know where your clothes are and so far and so forth so so on and so forth but mainly it's just a way of saving space so you know how much you can fit inside of them and you know how much you can fit inside of your suitcases so it is a really great tool for space saving it's also really great for when you come back because you can just literally shove things in like i'm not a really good packer on the way back i'm good on the way there but on the way back it's like last minute shoving things in so when you have packing cubes you literally just shove it in and close it and they will stay at that size and won't grow so it's really good good for that okay i'm gonna give you another tip but this one is a extra tip but is basically have a checklist always have a checklist i was a big you know i don't need a checklist for anything person until i had my baby because my brain kind of went mush and having a checklist honestly helped my brain focus and it helped me not overpack which is the important thing it made it kept me it made me con it controlled my packing basically it made sure i had the necessary things and nothing else and I it made sure as well I did have the necessary things with me, which is really important. Um, like I, the amount of times I've forgotten like snacks or things like that that are you know you needed for the trip or you know like underwear. I've forgotten many underwears before. Um, for not just my toddler as well, my husband as well. So you know I do need a checklist to make sure I pack everything for everybody. Um, so make sure to grab one for yourself. Uh, we actually do have a diaper bag uh, checklist for when you're flying. I'm going to link it in the description below. So make sure to check it out. It's free. You can have it for free. and uh, You just have to sign up to our newsletter and it's yours. Like these are the main things we uh, always do when we're packing for any trip. We try to keep things minimal. We try to keep things simple and easier for everybody involved, especially the mums. You know the ones that are packing the ones that are, are you know thinking or overthinking about all of this that's why we do this um we also have created an ebook that will literally help you from the moment you start booking your flight all the way to you arrive at your destination it will help you plan all of these little bits and will help you guarantee you know some peace of mind for your for the actual flight it will help you guarantee that you you know, you're not overwhelmed and stressed about all of the little details you have to think about because it's all in that ebook. And the best thing about it as well is you can always refer to it. You can have it downloaded on your phone and you can always refer it to it if you need to, you know, for some extra trips and some extra help while on the travel day. I will link it as well in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Uh, we also link some blog posts and some videos that are related to this one for you to check it out. So make sure to check the description. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any topics that you would like us to talk about. We would be happy to share more with you. Our goal here is just to help another parent uh, in need. And if it helps you, then our job is done. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you guys have a great day and bye-bye.